Our I-team has uncovered new information tonight about two Richmond County deputies fired last week amid a sex scandal. One of them a high-ranking member of the sheriff's command staff. The other is a young investigator. Meredith Anderson has been going through their personnel files. There wasn't much in Allison Walker's file because she hasn't been a deputy that long. But Brandon Beckman's file... That's another story. Until he was fired last week, he had been with the Richmond County Sheriff's Office for 24 years. So his file was a couple hundred pages. Still, what stood out most wasn't something we found in those files. It's what we found was missing. If you just looked at his personnel file, you'd probably think Captain Brandon Beckman still works for the Richmond County Sheriff's Office. Same goes for investigator Allison Ali Walker. There is nothing in either file saying they were fired. Still, we know they were both terminated September 18th, and not because the Richmond County Sheriff's Office confirmed it. A state accreditation board did. Georgia Post regulates law enforcement officers in the state, and by law, agencies have 15 days to notify them of a termination, which our CSO did in this case. But Sheriff Richard Roundtree still hasn't notified us, and therefore you the community he serves. After multiple independent sources confirmed Beckman and Walker lied about an inappropriate relationship, we filed an open records request for their personnel files. Again, neither file had anything about this alleged sex scandal or even if they had a relationship. But we are learning more about both. Let's start with the higher ranking one, Brandon Beckman, a captain who managed the Criminal Investigation Division. The majority of his job responsibilities included supervising, training, counseling, evaluating, and disciplining subordinates. Subordinates like investigator Allie Walker. His reviews are glowing, his most recent one noting he is a position of trust and strives to maintain a code of ethics needed for this position. Even in 2017, his evaluation notes his superior service. Further back, though, a few blemishes, resulting in several suspensions, the most serious one way back in 2001. Reports show he confiscated three clips of ammo from a suspicious vehicle, then a fourth from another location, but did not turn them into the property room and then lied to an investigator about it. He was suspended for eight days. After a few other missteps, it appears he was able to rise in the ranks over the years until just last week when the I-team discovered his photo was removed from the command staff website. Allie Walker's file, it's also full of positive reviews in her three years at RCSO. This past January, it's noted she's proven to be honest and can be depended on to tell the truth. It also says she takes responsibility for her actions and makes sound decisions for the best outcome. Again, both she and Beckman were allegedly fired not for having an inappropriate relationship, but for lying about it. Now, just within the last hour, we did finally hear back from the sheriff's office. They gave us their first official confirmation that Walker and Beckman were fired. It is just two pages, one for each of them. It says that they were fired on the 18th. That's Monday, but it includes no information as to why. It does say, though, that neither of them are eligible for rehire. Of course, we'll keep digging. And thanks for the update there, Meredith.